As we leave the Four Corners on Route 160, we experience high desert terrain at altitudes of no less than 6,000 feet. The land is mostly flat with patches of sagebrush, juniper trees, and some small settlements, contrasting with the sense of openness and spaciousness. The region west of Cortez has mostly arid landscapes. Continuing east from Cortez to Durango, the landscape begins to offer stunning and diverse scenery that showcases the natural beauty of southwestern Colorado. The further we travel east, the land begins to rise with the Colorado Rockies in the distance. The terrain begins to shift from a high desert plain to the rocky slopes of the San Juan Mountains in Colorado. Approaching Mancos, 30 minutes west of Durango, you enter a more mountainous area with views of rolling hills and scattered forests. The landscape becomes greener as pine and aspen trees begin to appear. The La Plata Mountains start to dominate the skyline to the north. These are part of the larger San Juan Range, and their rugged peaks are often snow-capped, even into the late spring. As you continue to climb higher in elevation, the highway offers panoramic views of these jagged, forested mountains. Approaching Durango, you descend slightly into a wide valley where the Animus River meanders. The valley is lush and green in contrast to the drier areas to the east. Durango itself sits in a picturesque setting, surrounded by mountains, with the dramatic San Juan range visible in the distance. The drive from Four Corners on Route 160 to Durango, with its 6,500-foot altitude, beautifully captures the transition from desert landscapes to the lush mountain vistas that Colorado is famous for. Durango, Colorado was founded in 1881 by the Denver and Rio Grande Railroad to serve the mining industry, which played a significant role in the region's early development. Durango's founding is closely tied to the discovery of precious metals. The late 1800s saw a surge in mining activity in Colorado, particularly in the San Juan Mountains to the north of Durango. The town was established as a railhead for the Denver and Rio Grande Railroad, strategically located to support the transportation of gold, silver, and other minerals being mined in the nearby city. The Strader Hotel, built in 1887 by entrepreneur Henry Strader, had a significant impact on Durango's early growth and development. As one of the grandest hotels in the region at the time, it quickly became a central hub for social and economic activities, helping solidify Durango's reputation as a prosperous and growing town. The Diamond Bell Saloon was established in the late 1800s as part of the Strader Hotel. The hotel quickly became a central hub in Durango, catering to travelers, miners, and railroad workers during the booming silver mining era in southwest Colorado. In the early days, the saloon embodied the essence of the Wild West with its wooden bar Victorian decor and Old West ambience. It was frequented by cowboys, miners, and traders who worked in the nearby mining camps. Durango was a frontier town at the time and the saloon served as a lively gathering place for both locals and visitors. The Diamond Bell was known for its raucous atmosphere, live music, dancing girls, and even the occasional gunfight, adding to its legendary Old West reputation. It is often claimed that the famous Lawman Bat Masterson once served as a bartender at the Diamond Bell. Thank you.